Good morning guys, welcome to Supercars of London, welcome to 8 o'clock again, it is incredibly sunny. Firstly, I would like to thank each and every one of you who has watched and tuned in to my latest video, Win My Christmas Shopping, and thank you to everyone who has commented on my Instagram picture. That picture is going to stay live and I will be announcing the winners on Christmas Day. There are going to be three winners like I mentioned. And you may be able to tell from the background and maybe even the title of this video that I am very, very excited excited this morning. I feel like it is Christmas morning. I am down at Aston Martin Lagonda here at Gaydon. This is the headquarters. I've literally just had a quick whistle tour of the production line and I am blown away not only by the attention to detail that is going on but also how many people there are working on the production line handcrafting these beautiful beautiful machines and today as I continue to walk from the uh, VIP entrance which I'd like to thank Aston Martin very much that this is my car for the weekend. The weekend before Christmas, Aston Martin have given me their brand new DB11. I am so excited to drive this car. This is the first twin turbo Aston Martin, 5.2 litre V12, and I personally still think they've managed to maintain the sound, unlike some manufacturers. Ferrari. So I cannot wait to get behind the wheel of this car. This video is going to be my collection and first impressions, first drive of the DB11 before I have it for the weekend. I'm going to be driving into central London. I'm doing a bit of a GT tour and hopefully I can get a well-rounded review, opinion on this car. So I suppose let's go around this car, talk a little bit about the spec, go over some of the details, exterior and interior, start this bad boy up and take it home. This specific Aston Martin DB11 is one of the first to roll off the production line and it's done over 10,000 miles. It is finished in Arden Green and of course in the front you have got the V12 5.2 twin turbo. The DB11 being the first of the Mercedes AMG Aston Martin collaboration and a collaboration that I am bloody excited about. There have been a lot of reviews talking about the fact that this car shares a lot of interior parts to the AMG but that is a good thing because the interior on the AMG is so well put together not only that they make phenomenal performing engines top speed Aston Martin say that this will do 200 miles an hour 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds one of the exciting things for me again comes from the engine and that is the MPG everyone knows that I love a bit of fuel economy and the combined MPG on this car is around 25 MPG which I'm looking forward to putting that to the test on my long drives if we're going to talk about the looks very briefly i have to say this is one of the prettiest cars that you could see on the uk road today from the front I think this car is absolutely stunning. I'm not totally won over by the rear, and I think the rear is quite controversial in the car scene because, uh, well, I don't think it looks quite as good as the front. However, most people that are going to be seeing this on the road will either see it in their rear view mirror or so far ahead of them themselves in a distance that I don't think it actually matters. This specific example of the Aston Martin DB11 is £179,000, options being the Arden Green metallic paint. We've also got copper tan leather, which is a £3,500 optional extra. And one thing that Jeremy Clarkson slagged off on the Grand Tour in his DB11 was the side panels. These are finished in copper weave carbon fiber which is one of the coolest things I have ever seen Jeremy Clarkson's one had the uh, different type of carbon fiber but that is incredibly smart the Bang & Olufsen speaker system is a thousand watts which I would love to test but that is gonna have to be done off camera because YouTube copyrights will screw me over for playing music. There's a brief summary of the DB11 that I'm going to be driving for the next couple of days. I think all that is left now is to start this beast up and get on the road, test out all of the different modes, discover this car as we go, get the cameras rolling, as this is going to be my new daily for the next three days. <laughs> Okay, first impressions, my point of view is as follows. We've got this new design specifically for the DB11 of a steering wheel. It's not as flat slash square shaped as the Vanquish, but it still obviously isn't exactly a circle. The on steering wheel buttons are quite nice. I have no idea what they mean. However, I do know that this suspension button runs through all of the different suspension modes. We have got sport mode, 
sport plus mode and then we go back to GT mode. GT mode being the most comfortable. And on the right here, we have got the sport settings and this obviously firms up the engine transmission and everything becomes a lot more responsive. Again, we've got sport, sport plus and GT mode. However, sport plus mode, I've just realized, opens the valves on the exhaust system. So we will stay in that mode. Okay, the steering is light. At low speeds, the steering is light. Although, I, because I'm in sport plus, I can imagine the gears aren't going to be changing as low as I was expecting because the, uh, the gearbox will be in Sport Plus, sort of ready to race, but... <laughs> I love the sound that this car is producing already. This is a very calm... Oh! <laughs> As I was saying, it's a very calm, relaxing, inviting, exquisite, oh, downshift, nice, place to be. The steering is perfectly weighted for the sound. Oh, I just, no, that's not even what I was going to say. But the sound is just in my ears that it's taking over my brain. I've got a big smile on my face. The weather is absolutely phenomenal. This is what it is all about, driving an Aston Martin. Everything about these downshifts. Sport Plus is the best mode to be in. <laughs> so my first impressions within the first two minutes is that I love this car. It's as simple as that. Bit of traction. So we're about to join the M40 back to London and I'm now going to take it out of Sport Plus because some people might want the GT mode with the valve shut so that you don't have that constant V12 noise. Some people do, I do, but in terms of this video I do want to test all of the settings so I'm going to take it back out. I'm now in GT mode and I have to say the views that you are greeted with and treated to in this car are phenomenal. One of them being sun so low in the winter. Double dimension on sunglasses. Uh, the steering wheel, the dials, the wing mirrors, the center console, the visibility on this car is perfect. Armrest is the perfect height. God, I'm falling in love with this car. I am a massive Aston Martin fan. I was never an Aston Martin fan when I was 15, 16 years old because all I wanted to do was hear Lamborghinis and watch Ferraris racing up and down in central London. Whereas now, I feel like I've grown up a little bit. I've experienced Aston Martin throughout some of their product range. And you can have the lunacy in the V12 Vantage S, but you can also have the elegance and the class of a DB11. And I have to say, a combination of the two would just be, for me, the perfect car. A pretty and classy looking car that sounds absolutely fantastic without an aftermarket exhaust system. So imagine what you can do with an aftermarket exhaust system. A comfortable interior where everything works and a stress-free drive. And to be honest, I'm getting all of that in the DB11. But I'd like to think that when the new Vantage comes out with the 4-litre bi-turbo engine that's in my AMG GTS, that is where the lunacy is going to come from. So everything that Aston Martin are doing, collaborating with Red Bull to create a hypercar, that thing is going to break records. And I am saying this for my, for my love of Aston Martin, because where they are going is incredible. This was my favourite car of Geneva 2016. The Chiron was cool, the Chiron was cool, the Hurricane Spider was very cool, but seeing the DB11 for the first time and Aston Martin surprising us all with the way that it looked so close to the DB10, which was, again, a favourite car of mine in the latest uh, James Bond film, it is just, just amazing. Suspension in the comfiest setting, we're in GT mode in the suspension, much smoother than my AMG, probably a little bit smoother than my BMW M3. But the one thing that you have to always remind yourself is this car is nearly 200,000 pounds. 200,000 pounds, of course, you are going to expect all of the things 
that I've just listed off and fallen in love with this car. And of course you're gonna fall in love with a car that costs 200,000 pounds. It costs more than most people's houses. So it is an expensive car, but it is an absolutely fantastic car. And I think the only thing really that is left for me to say is stay tuned for the rest of the videos that are gonna be coming out from this weekend. I'm gonna be making a video talking about the sound. We're gonna try and find some awesome country roads and take this car for a bit of a hoon and basically treat this car how quite a lot of owners are probably gonna treat it when they hit a country road. Sport plus everything and absolutely nail it. So hopefully we can open up the valves of the exhaust system and listen to the 5.2 litre V12. Okay, one thing I've just realized is this car speeds very easily. The sense of speed in this car is uh, kind of squashed with the fact that you're just in so much comfort. I was doing it over the speed limit there, so I'm now coming back down to 70 miles an hour, and I'm gonna continue my journey home, carry on filming bits and pieces that I see, but as a DV11 collection goes from Aston Martin VIP section, <laughs> I mean, what is going on? It is un unbelievable. So uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Make sure that you are tuned in to carry on watching the journey of the Aston Martin DB11. See how I get on with this car. See if I'm falling in love with it even more or I've fallen out with love with it by the time Monday comes around and I sadly have to drop the keys back. Um, but with all of that being said, thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you are a massive fan of the DB11 or you've enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already because there's gonna be a lot more content coming very soon on this DB11, but of course, all of the Christmas videos. And re-watch my last video, the Christmas shopping video, or if you haven't seen it, watch my Christmas shopping video and get involved with the Christmas giveaway. Thank you for watching and I'll see you